you're doing well. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do this pretty cherry blossom design. So if you'd like to learn how to do this, keep on watching. Okay, so for the background of this design, I decided to use powder so it would be a nice soft but bright uh, finish. And I already have um, makeup on from today, but that's okay. I'm just going to go right over it. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a NYX um, white eyeliner and just put that in the corner of my eye. Now I'm going to take this Ben Nye Lumiere um, white color. It's like a pearly white. And I'm going to take this little um, crease brush from Coastal Scents and just pop the curly pearly color right on the inside right here and then going up a little and then in a little. For my Coastal Scents uh, 42 double stack palette I'm just gonna take um, this blush right here and using my uh, finger actually so I can really pack it on I'm gonna put that um, right on my lid. I'm going to take that same color and just wash it, do like a wash in my crease. This is a really simple eye look. It's just kind of going to be washes of colors. I wanted it to be really soft. So now I'm taking another Ben Nye Lumiere color. I believe this one's called Azalea. It's a deep um, pearly pink color. And I'm going to take this 224, the, the Sigma 224 brush again. And I'm going to put that right, I'm going to do circular motions in the corner of my eye, like that. And then bring it up, and run it along the bottom of my, uh, below my lashes. But I'm just going to take this, start where the color is going to be the deepest, which is right here at the temple and then pull it down and up. Okay, so the final step for this is to take some, um, I'm taking some Crystal Ice Mica Powder. It's from um, Coastal Scents, but any white glittery color will do. And I'm gonna put it on um, a fat round brush and just on the outside right here, we're gonna frame it, frame the mask kind of shape with it and then slowly just a little bit blend it in um, to the pink and make sure you cover your whole uh, upper eye area right there right above the eyebrows and above right there and then also I just went right in the center right here all right, so that's the basic mask. Now I'm just going to do some black eyeliner and some mascara, and then we'll be ready to start the artwork. Okay, so there's one more step I forgot about, and that's lip gloss. So I'll put some of that on. And it's uh, NYX Goddess of the Night in beige. I'm going to use a square, a smaller square brush, just like this. And starting at my jaw. Let's see here. Now remember there's really no straight lines here and you want to keep your lines somewhat jagged and less curvy if that makes sense. So kind of with a shaky hand, go up and I've got to start forming the tree. I'm going to come around. Another branch coming this way. Just kind of um, follow the lines of the face, just so it looks interesting and pretty. And end all of your branches in fine points. One more at the bottom. I'm going to take a thinner brush and start to do little branches coming off of that. So I'll do little skinny ones coming out of all of these. So 
just on the bottom of the branches where you think it would be shaded, put a little bit of black. And then take another brush as you're doing this and um, blend it in so it's not quite as harsh. And now I'm going to put some highlights on it and I'm going to use a bronzy color to do that. Okay, so I'm just going to take this here and there where I think the sunlight would hit. So up here. And on top of the branches. I'm going to tip my brush in Diamond Effects uh, metallic rose color. So it looks like that. And I'm using a skinny brush because I'm going to do a little bit of flowers because the cherry blossoms are really small. So just wherever you know you want, you can put the flowers. Push, through, push your brush down. And you want to do big ones and small ones. Do little petals, just individual little petals as well. Okay, so I finished putting all the little blossoms um, all over the branches. Just make sure you do blossoms of different sizes and then throw just random petals here or there. I was having a hard time getting my white to be opaque and I found the trick was to make sure that your white was really, really, really thick and kind of dry and uh, that helped the white to show up more for me on those branches. So the next step is to have the petals kind of falling from the tree and uh, we're gonna use the same technique with double loading the brush and just from different points we'll start doing the petals so you're just gonna press your brush down want them going on the eye too. Okay, so I finished with all of my petals. I just had them like they were cascading down my face um, across my eyelids. And now I'm going to put little uh, dots in the center of my flowers. So I'm just taking that same brush I've been using and some white. And I'm just going to add little dots and I'm gonna get started on the necklace and for my um, pendant I'm gonna do the uh, well what Google tells me is the Japanese uh, Japanese symbol for strength so I'm just gonna start off um, with the curving line that ends in a point and it starts off fat it looks like there we go and ends in a point and then um, a slanted line that comes up and down a little bit. Then a straight line that goes up and almost touches um, the first line we made. And I just realized that I'm doing this in a mirror, so it might be backwards actually, but I'm not, I don't know, I'm not sure. So there's my symbol to match the tree and I'm going to surround it in little cherry blossoms. So I have my double loaded brush here and I'm just gonna start doing little flowers. Just kind of randomly different sizes all over. So there you go. There's the finished necklace. I just did cherry blossoms up and down and the Japanese That's symbol. That's it. I hope you liked it. Bye.